Hi, I'm Chad Owens, and this is IT Security Tips. Working with Myers Network Solutions, and this is kind of one of my favorite topics because it's about gadgets and doodads. It's about smart items, or you may have heard the term, the Internet of Things, IOT, capital I, lowercase o, capital T, Internet of Things. And what that really means is stuff that's on the internet, smart devices. You can have a smart toaster or a smart coffee maker. You can have a, a home camera or doorbell like the Ring doorbell. These are things that are smart and can connect to your phone and can connect up to the internet through the cloud. And that's why they're called the Internet of Things. But people always ask me when they see these devices in my home, aren't you afraid of being hacked? Well, the answer is yes and no. Most of these Internet of Things uh, are hackable. If you listen to the right podcasts or read the right websites, yes, there are people who love to find out whether or not this new gadget is hackable and they'll go and buy it and they'll hack it. And some of these hackers will actually write the manufacturers and say, hey, you have this huge security flaw. I mean, the Chinese company that built the, the device that feeds your pet, you can look at on your phone and you can see pictures of, of your pet and then you can hear it and you could talk to it over the speaker and then you hit a button and it drops out a little treat for your dog or your cat. And that's an awesome little device if you're a pet lover, but uh, it's actually quite hackable. And so this white hat hacker, he found it out that he could look at anybody else's pet devices. He could see the video, he can hear the audio and he can actually talk to their pets all from his phone. So are these things hackable? Definitely yes. You can assume, especially if it's the first version of something, that there is going to be a way to hack it and that somebody out there is going to find out how to hack it. But the real question is, should you worry about that? Should that be something that concerns you? What have you got to lose? Somebody hacks you. I heard a story of somebody using a smart coffee maker to relay into somebody's house so they could get the files off of their Windows computer at home. And yeah, that's completely possible. So how do you protect yourself against that? Well, really the danger here is, is your information easily available? I think somebody, I think the danger of somebody hacking a smart coffee machine to get to your windows, that's a little bit higher of a level of hacking than say if you just didn't have a firewall at home or didn't have anti-malware at home and your files were easily accessible over the internet. It's more likely that you're going to click an attachment and an email and give somebody information than it is they're gonna hack your smart coffee maker. But here's, here's my little safety tip there. If you're bringing smart devices into your home, you could create a separate Wi-Fi network to join that is separate from your important files. So you can have two Wi-Fi networks at home. You can have one for just your internet of things, your toasters, your doorbells, and all of that. So you can still have the convenience, but you can separate it from anything that you have a computer or any files or NAS devices or anything where you have files. You can have two separate networks and you can secure it that way. But that takes a little bit of uh, home network awareness that not everybody has. And I try to keep these tips for people who are less technical. So here's the less, least technical version for you. I would really only worry if you're bringing something in that's video or audio related because you're willingly bringing in a spy. You're bringing in something that is allowing other people who hack it to see into your home. You put that little pet device down and if you put it in the bathroom, well, everything that happens in the bathroom can now be over the internet. Or that is a speaker or a microphone. They can hear everything going on. This is why I put a little piece of tape over the webcam on my laptop. And this is why uh, if there is something that has a microphone built in, like a video camera with two-way audio or a ring doorbell, I make sure it's on the outside of my house, not the inside. I don't like that privacy invasion. So do I have Alexa? Do I have Google Assistant? Yes, I do. But in my home, I've been able to secure those networks and separate them. So for you, if you still like those gadgets and you're worried, you should have basic internet security on all your computers. Um, Myers offers... Uh, web root or another malware protection and antivirus protection. You should probably have some sort of security like a firewall. Uh, some people have that built into your DSL modem or whatever you're using for your internet connection. You should avoid joining free Wi-Fi. And you should probably not bring video cameras and, and microphones into your home. I hope that makes sense. If you're worried about it, don't be over worried. Uh, the, the reality of you being a target, most people are going to want your information. They're not going to want to spy on you. They're going to want to 
pretend to be you to take out loans and credit card numbers and make money, but hacking is a for-profit business. Yes, be smart, be cautious, but also don't be paranoid. That's, that's kind of my advice there. Okay, I hope you have a good day. Thank you.